Hey, what's up guys? So we're going to be going over the promo card in Soul Fusion, but mostly talking about the 200th YCS and just some information regarding what are the prizes and what can you do at this event. But uh, anyways, yeah, first off, let's go ahead and go over the Soul Fusion promotional card for the Sneak Peek, which is Token Collector. Now, Sneak Peek is not going to be taking place until one week prior uh, to Soul Fusion coming out, which should be on the 13th, because it's coming out on the 19th. But uh, anyways... Token Collector over here. Uh, he is a new card. He's a Earth level 4, 0 attack, 2,000 defense points. And uh, here is also the mat here. But we're really here to check out Token Collector's effect. It's nothing too special, but nonetheless, its effect says, uh, If a token is special, except during the damage step, you can special this card from the graveyard. If it was there when the token was special summon or hand, even if not. You can only use this effect of Token Collector once per turn. This card is special and destroys many tokens on the field as possible, and if you do, it gains 4 attack for each token destroyed. Neither player can special summon tokens. Meanwhile, the player, uh, the play mat is going to be the one that I just showed off. That's the Soul Fusion one. So that's it for, like, that information. It says, uh, Sneak Peek is 13th or 14th. Uh, but yeah, it's not coming out, uh, until, I believe, the 19th, which is, um, quite a while from here, and that's, uh, on October, so... Uh, that's the promo card. Nothing too special. It's been a while since we got like an actual insanely good promo card. I think the last one I remember that was a really good, I believe, was like Tengu. Um, but yeah, Token Collector, eh, I don't think it's that insane unless there's some crazy combo with it. Let me know down below in the comment section below if there is some crazy combo with Token Collector because I just don't see it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the 200th YCS. So the main draw of the prize cards is going to be Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. Of course, getting the ultra rare variant of this card. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this card in action. If not, I'm going to put a video down below in the pin comment, and you guys can watch it in action. It's really good in Light Sworn. It's really good against a lot of our inside of a lot of like Light Sworn variants. Uh, but if you want to play Chaos Dragons, it's definitely a really really good card. A lot of players were upset though that this card is a prize card because well. You might need multiples of these. With some of the prize cards, you only really need one to function properly. But generally, yeah, it's going to be a card that I think a lot of people will be wanting to play, like, maybe two or three copies of. But, uh, yeah, very, very good card indeed. That's the prize card, all right? But there's also a few other things, because, you know, not everyone's actually going to be placing here at the 200th YCS. But uh, there's also a special guest from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, show. But, uh, anyways, first off, uh, this is the map for participating in. It actually looks okay, and it's got a gold sark. But uh, it's not like that card's even meta, but Gold Sark, boys. Uh, also, you do get a field center card. So basically, if you guys don't know what these are, it's so you can place it in the middle and then you guys can have your uh, link left and right zones kind of more established. But overall, I would say these things aren't usually worth too much, but sometimes people collect them. Um, and then also, you get a Karibo headband. Great, great, great entry. No, it's just the paper hat. <laughs> Uh, they actually had a promo for Duel Links, which was the Yugi hat. I actually think that that one's cooler, but nonetheless, it's just kind of fun stuff. Uh, and then, um, finally, uh, exclusively to the 200th YCS, very limited edition, Divine Attribute Dice, which you can only get by turning your deck list on Friday before the event. So that's actually something important. These can be worth some money, um, just all depends on, like, how hot, uh, people want these dice are going to be as far as demand goes but nonetheless yeah it's just a few extra things here but uh, a few questions that I can answer really quick so you guys don't have to sift through like the the huge giant thing of as far as like the uh, 200 YCS frequently asked questions I'm gonna go over the stuff that I feel like it's more important if you guys want to know when it is the pre-registration so if you want to get that dice which I'm assuming most of you guys will probably want to go and grab because I mean why not just get an extra item that can it's basically free, um, as long as you register early. Uh, that's going to be on September 21st, and the main event is going to be September 22nd through the 23rd. And if you guys want to know where it is, um, this is also just on the main website, but it's Greater Columbus Convention Center, 400 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio, for uh, zip code 43215. Uh, but yeah, those are the important dates. But also, as far as what the prize uh, support goes for this, because this is... Um, going to be the one where, again, it has Cast Emperor, uh, the Dragon of Armageddon. So, um, as first place, you will get the ultra rare variant of that card. And then in addition to that, you get a trophy. You also get a messenger bag. Uh, pay travel and accommodations to the you know, winner's 2019 World Championship qualifier. You get a one terabyte PlayStation 4 Pro. You also get invited and you get VIP status at the World Championship qualifier tournament. Exclusive 200 
Weiss, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Championships Top Series Cut Game Mat, which is actually going to be something I'll show you guys in a second. And then um, you also get 30 uh, of the Ultimate Duelist Series points. So, yo, you want to get those pins and lanyards? There you guys go, man. That's what the, uh, you, you used to have, like, the belt uh, for the UDS series. That was kind of cool, I'll be honest. But, uh, anyways, most of the, like, the, the, the things that most of the people want. Sometimes, though, the, um, the VIP status gets you a specific, like, box of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! goodies, like, sleeves and stuff. I, that, I'm not sure exactly what this one is, but, uh, that'll be information that might get revealed later down the line. Obviously, that's not for a while, but, uh, nonetheless, like, basically, you're getting the Chaos Emperor, like, do you really care about a trophy or a messenger bag? I don't think those are gonna be worth too much, unless they're very, very, uh, special. This one is an exclusive, but I don't know. I mean, do you guys really care about a messenger bag? Probably not too much, okay? So, basically, you get an invite and you get paid accommodations, um, but pretty much it's like PS4 Pro, and then on top of that you get the Chaos Emperor. The rest of the stuff, I would say it's a little bit lackluster. That's my personal opinion. I, I would like to get your guys' thoughts on this uh, as well. But if you get second place, you get the Super Rare. So this is one that's worth a lot less money. Uh, I don't believe we have a like a set price on this card yet. Um, but uh, I mean, sometimes people like they already start selling cards before they even come out, right? Uh, as like pre-orders. But this is like obviously a price card. Um, anyways. Uh, there's the messenger bag, um, and then you get a, a terabyte a PS4 Pro, and then you get invite, um, but then you get 10 duelist points. Uh, and pretty much most of the stuff is a repeat. Um, you, up to um, top 8 is where you're going to be able to get the PlayStation 4 one terabyte system. However, I want to say this one is probably going to be also a PS4 Pro, but maybe it's top 4 only gets the Pro. The rest are just stuck with the one terabyte, because it does not say Pro. Uh, and then the rest, are they're all in the super rare... Um, Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. That you guys all get that up to the top eight, um, <clears throat> and then uh, if you get ninth through sixteenth, you get a complete set of one of the sets, and then you get an invite, and then you get the top cut mat, which I will show you guys in just a moment, and then you get ten points, and then the other one uh, as participation, which everyone will get. You get the participation game mat, which is the gold Sark one that I showed you, and you get the field center, and then you get five packs of Cybernetic Horizon. So for the top 200 right here, you guys are going to be able to get this mat. It's a Chaos Emperor Dragon. Uh, pretty cool. I like it. That mat will probably be worth a little bit more than the gold Sark one, because this one is going to have a lot more. I just don't know why they decided to release gold Sark at first, but there is going to be a special guest, which is Darren Dunstan. So he actually does a lot of voice acting from a lot of different things from, like, Ninja Turtles, Pokemon, there's some of the stuff I didn't even know that he did acting for, but uh, voice acting that is. Uh, but he is the voice actor for Maximilian Pegasus. Um, I just want to make sure I double go over everything here. But yeah, the, uh, he's going to be the voice actor, and there's going to be like, you can take a picture with him, you can have him sign a card or something, I'm sure. If you want him to, to say something, he'll probably say it. But there's also a Winamat sleeve that I, th uh, or not Winamat sleeve, a Winamat mat, which I think looks pretty cool. This is the exclusive mat for uh, the 200 YCS, it's basically, uh, you got Yugi, uh, Yusei, the Zexel guy, I don't know the other guy, you got Jaden, uh, Yuya, but, uh, I think that that map will be popular amongst some of the younger audiences, but overall, I don't think that map's gonna be worth nearly as much as the Chaos Emperor Dragon. But there's also some other types of duels, um, if you guys wanted to know, like, what else is there to do as far as public events, because not only is there a main event, but there's other things that you can do, and sometimes people only want to go to these events for some of the side events, because... Uh, well, they just enjoy those a lot more. So there is a three versus three team duel. Usually they give you uncut cards <clears throat> as prizes. Um, I, don't, I don't know if this was, it might be something that's listed here. But anyways, yeah, there's a three v three. There's a dragon duel, which is for, I believe, ages 12 and under. Um, there might be, it might have been changed since. I, it's been a while since I've gone and looked at information on dragon duels. But um, yeah, it's for like younger audiences. And then you have a starter deck tournament. There's also a structure deck tournament, which is about the same thing. Um, and then you get the, uh, there's also Yu-Gi-Oh! School Tournament Series, and there's Attack of the Giant Cards, so that's where you can win the Giant Cards. Those are actually quite worth, uh, some money. There's a Battle City Tournament, a Regional Qualifiers, a UDS Qualifier, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Day Tournament, and there's also Winamat, which, of course, this is the Winamat. Um, as far as, um, prices for some of the, uh, things that you can actually do, so, what's interesting with the, um, Regional Qualifiers, it's 16 players. Usually these were $20, but... Whatever. I've seen them also be in twelve dollars, never sixteen. But anyways, for the three v three, it's gonna be fifteen dollars, but it's five dollars per player. Then the Jack Attack of the Giant card is twenty dollars. The Battle City Tournament. Uh, so actually, I think it. Okay. So oh, here's the pricing. Oh, so yeah. Um, each player will receive an uncut sheet. So yeah, that's still the same as uh, before. Attack of the Giant card. 
Um, it doesn't specify right here. It says one oversized Yu-Gi-Oh card. I believe some of these do get revealed at the event, or sometimes people take a picture like a couple days before, but um, it didn't list the exact card. Because that can actually matter of how, how much it is. Yo, if it's a giant Stratos, obviously that's going to be worth a lot more than like, you know, a... Actually, a total... Frog the Jam might be worth a lot if they decide to make an oversized one. Uh, Dragon Duels refer to what other prizes for Dragon Okay. So yeah, a lot of times in the Dragon Duels, they, they'll give you... At one point, they were recycling, like, the Dark Lords. So sometimes the prizes for the Dragon Duels, guys, is, like, recycled prize support. Um, but um, the Duelist League are kind of cool. They just have, like, different uh, lettering on the cards. Uh, but um, for first place at the starter deck, you get a game mat. I, I, I hope it's not the paper mat that comes with it. No, it's probably some specific one. I don't believe that information was shown because I, I, I basically skimmed through the stuff that I thought was more important for you guys. However, if you guys want to read the full information and you want anything more uh, for the uh, tournament as far as more information, I'm going to leave that down below in the description box so you guys can check that out. But I basically wanted to cover what I would consider more important, which is like when is it, you know, what are the other game modes that they have, and also what is the prize support because that obviously can determine if you want to go or not. But pretty cool stuff indeed. But guys, let me know what you think of the prizes uh, for the 200th YCS. Do you guys like it? I think that they should do a little bit more. I'm like, I appreciate the paper hats. I think it's funny for the memes. Uh, the field center is not bad. I think that that can be kind of cool. But I think it really should be like a little bit more special. Um, I think that they should give out some more like foil versions of cards that already exist that are like exclusive to it. And just like cards that people like generally use, right? Um, and maybe some ghost rares, right? But uh, nonetheless, I mean, those those are the prizes and those are the entry. Uh, to the tournament, uh, little swags, that, swag bag stuff that you get. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to always be updated on the latest Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, like information on the 200 YCS, as well as the promo card for Soul Fusion. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.